Before we get started, I have to clear up a little little discrepancy here. Apparently the other night, or within the last week, because I've been getting a lot of email about this, and I even received one telephone call. Apparently somebody called the Alex Jones broadcast and asked them, ask him why he didn't have me on the air or asked him something about me. <coughs> Alex Jones said he had had me on the air once before, several years ago, and had to cut me off the air because of the foul language that I used. So on the air tonight, I'm going to tell you, Alex Jones, you are a bold-faced, miserable, stinking, little, coward liar. Now let me say that again so there's no mistake about it. You can all tell Alex Jones that I said this, and I suspect he's listening because he does. Alex Jones, you are a bold-faced, stinking, rotten, little, coward liar. I was only on the Alex Jones show one time. It was years ago when I didn't know who he was, when I didn't uh, realize what a liar and a coward and a sensationalist bullshit artist that he is. He was on one little FM station down in Texas. He wasn't on all the stuff that he's on now. And I agreed to be on his broadcast. That's when I was doing guest appearances on broadcast years ago. I was not cut off. I did not use any kind of foul language whatsoever. He treated me very well. And I stayed on for the whole show. Some of you in Texas know that that's true because you heard the broadcast and you taped it. Later when I found out who Alex Jones was and what he was doing to the truth and how what a cowardly liar and sensationalist he really is, every time he called me after that, I have always refused to appear on his broadcast, absolutely refused to lend him any credibility whatsoever by appearing on his broadcast. And that made him very angry. I've also revealed him for the lying, sensationalist, bullshit artist that he is by every once in a while bringing to your attention the lies and the deceit and the rumors that he spreads over the airwaves that are not good for any of us, and they're not good for the nation. They are especially not good for militia and patriots. The most disgusting broadcast he ever did was on uh, New Year's Eve, the year 2000. The New Year's Eve, 1999, bringing in the year 2000, and he, which he went completely out of his mind and claimed that Russia had launched intercontinental ballistic missiles with multiple warheads at the United States of America and actually panicked millions of people who were putting their children and their belongings in their cars and heading for the hills. Now, there's lots of things that can be said about me. Nobody needs to lie about me. Sometimes I am irritating. Sometimes I absolutely will not suffer fools and am just as rude as I can be. Nobody has to lie about me, Alex Jones. So I suggest that the next time somebody calls your broadcast and asks them about me, you tell the truth. There's lots of truth that you can tell about me. But don't ever lie on me, buddy, because I'll chop you off at your ankles. I will chew you up. I will spit you out for the lying, stinking, rotten little coward that you are. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all I have to say about Mr. Sensationalist, Lying, Rumor-Mongering, Bullshit Artist, Alex Jones. Good evening. You're on the air. Yeah, hi, Mr. Cooper. Hi. Um, listen, that Alex Jones interview was directly after you published the Veritas, June 26, 1998 issue about the uh, Cooper family being targeted by the feds. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, and back was... in 1990, did he, throw, did he kick me off the air? No, he's a liar, and you've pointed it out, and I heard that interview, and you were nothing but cordial. 
Yeah. Well, that's the truth. That's the truth. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. Bye-bye. Alex Jones is a miserable, rotten, little, stinking, cowardly, bold-faced liar. <laughs> Boy, you know, all, all of these people ought to know better than to mess with me because I don't take any crap from anybody. And if I'm not afraid of the whole machinations of the entire government Gestapo, what in the hell makes Alex Jones think that I would ever be afraid of his cowardly little rotten butt? Good evening. You're on the air. Yeah, Bill. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to let you know, I verify what you said about that Alex Jones interview. They had it archived on the Internet at one time, and I did hear that interview, and there was nothing wrong with what you did. And I wasn't thrown off the air, was I? Not a bit. No. And that's the only interview I ever did with Alex Jones. As soon as I found out what he was doing and who he really was, I he, he's called me back at least a hundred times since then, and I've always told him to take a hike. So anyway, thank you.